This is the story of how the Army is reinventing shored capabilities in response to emerging threats, where ground maneuver meets air defense to safeguard soldiers on the modern battlefield. A Gap in the Shield At the dawn of the 21st century, the U.S. Army found itself at a crossroads. After Operation Iraqi Freedom began in 2003, It was just over 90 minutes beyond President Bush's deadline for Saddam Hussein to leave Iraq that U.S. warships and planes, there were F-117 stealth bombers involved, launched the opening salvo of Operation Iraqi Freedom. The attack came in waves, cruise missiles, followed by the F-117 stealth bombers with so-called bunker-busting bombs. Their target, a bunker believed to be sheltering, what are called top leaders of the Iraqi regime. Military leaders reevaluated which formations were most essential to ground operations. In the early 2000s, the Army decided to divest significant portions of its short-range air defense, or SHORAD, to free up personnel for other mission-critical units. By 2005, the Army's shored force structure had been radically reduced. Where Avenger systems once stood guard over the battlefield, only a handful of battalions remained. Two battalions of active-duty Avengers in counter-rocket, artillery, and mortar, C-RAM batteries, and seven Army National Guard Avenger battalions. However, over the past two decades, the threat environment has changed dramatically. The rise in unmanned aerial systems, UASs, loitering munitions, and new low-altitude missiles posed a clear and present danger. And as conflict around the globe escalated, most notably in Ukraine, these technologies proved their effectiveness time and time again. Suddenly, the Army realized it needed a new wave of shored capabilities to protect its forward maneuver forces. Shored in general, our job is to protect the, the maneuver force and being on a striker platform allows us that capability to maneuver with them, to keep up with them, uh, and then ultimately protect them from uh, enemy UAS, rotary ring, and fixed wing assets. The birth of M. Shorad. 